Joseph Schultz, the president of the Italian American Museum. We just had another fantastic Christmas in New York, filled by Arthur Piccolo. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. But right now, I'd like to share with you our wonderful Neapolitan Persepio, which has been on display and will be continued to be on display through January 15th. This Persepio was made in Naples, right in the heart of the city. Um, each, one, each piece is unique, they're works of art and they're really something very special. I hope you'll spend the time to come down and see this Persepio before the Christmas season is over and that you will have a chance to share in some of the culture that we love so much. Hi, my name is Marie Palladino and I'm a third generation Italian American and my family comes from Sicily and Central Italy, Frosinone. Um, so I'm Chachara Siciliana. And I grew up primarily with um, my Sicilian side of the family, my mother's side, my nana. Uh, we would have a big, big uh, Christmas Eve celebration every year, actually at a house that was not only her house, but her mother's house. So my great-grandmother, my, my little nana, lived downstairs, and my nana lived upstairs. So we'd have this huge Christmas Eve party, and we would do the seven fishes, but normally there would be more than seven. There would be a lot of fish. We'd always have fish staku, which is um, typical to Messina, and um, all the adults would love it, and then they'd chase us around with spoonfuls of it, and they basically take this salted cod, and um, they they marinate it for like two weeks, so it's actually not, for me, it's not that delicious, but they would chase us around and make us eat it. Um, they love it so much that one year someone fell down outside in the snow and dropped it, and they, and they scooped it up with a spoon um, because it's like gold to them. And yeah, it's just, it's a really a special time of year, and it's a, it's a big tradition, and um, it, it was really hooked at my, my grandmother's house and um, it was really a time for my great-grandmother to see all her children because she came over here from Sicily and um, just be very proud of her family and give them a lot of food and we wouldn't just have a you know typical Christmas food you know there'd be all types of homemade pastas and, and cookies and dishes and and we would have a presepio uh, set up I don't know who would have made it it might have been I don't know, but there was definitely a St. Anthony statue somewhere in there, and uh, we'd always have to go to church. I mean, we still do, um, but together. So, you know, and I probably have like 40 <laughs> second cousins that are all my age, and we still try to keep up that tradition now that all the elders, she had four brothers, my Nana, and all of their grandchildren, you know, they're my cousins, so we still to this day try to keep up the tradition and actually right now my cousins the Traversis, the Gorgonis, the Paladinos we all um, try to organize who's gonna make what type of fish dish so we make sure we have our seven fishes and just try to keep up the traditions that we had growing up because we think it's really important um, to honor our, our grandparents and our Sicilian heritage. I'm Dino Sorrentino, I'm the Deputy Consul at the Italian Consulate General in New York and uh, I'm here to talk about my personal experience related to Christmas. Uh, I'm from the south of Italy, I'm from Sorrento, Provincia di Napoli. There's a huge Christmas tradition right there, um, especially in the Presepio. Uh, I remember my dad, when I was a kid growing up, every Christmas, it took a couple of weeks of building this huge, massive Presepio in the house 
Uh, as the time goes by, he's getting older and the presepio gets smaller and smaller. But we still have a, a little presepio at home and uh, we're very fond of this, uh, of this thing and these memories. Um, um, the memories of Christmas, uh, especially for us uh, from the South, are related to these huge banquets, festivities that last from the 24th of December until the 26th and then carries on on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Um, so these are big memories of family getting together, uh, dinners that start at 6 and ends up after midnight. Uh, so, um, Do you have any particular relatives, any particular people as you were growing up that you particularly think of them for some reason in terms of Christmas and at Christmas time? Well, you know, I remember when I was a kid, my grandmother used, used to take me to, to Mass after midnight. Uh, you know, the lights and the cold and, uh, and the good food again. It was, uh, you know, very fond memories. Now things are changing a little bit. Also the presepio tradition in the South is, is slowing down a little bit. The Christmas tree is a big thing now. Uh, the Christmas presents. And, did you, um, when you were a little kid, did you, you got get some Christmas, any particular, when you were a kid, you remember about any particular Christmas gift you got or something? No, but I remember, you know, clearly the day they told me Santa Claus does not exist. <laughs> so, <laughs> you better be... Uh, what was the image of a Santa, it was obviously Italian, what was the, what was sort well, of the image of Santa I, Claus? when I grew up and I was a kid, it was not really Santa Claus, actually. It was the, the 6th of January, the day of La Befana. And uh, so that's when we were receiving presents. Now, uh, also in Italy, uh, all the, the kids are expecting presents on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. And, um, but it's still a beautiful thing and uh, it's, we're still excited, you know. And now I have a little daughter and, uh, you know, the first memories of Christmas are uh, with her and with her here in New York, which... Uh, uh, it's a fantastic place, I think, with all the lights and the Christmas tree and the shopping. And Christmas to me, like many Italian Americans, is all about family and all about friends. Uh, Christmas to me is an evolution. My dad was born here on Thompson Street, very close to the museum. And um, back in the early 1900s, uh, they certainly didn't live with the abundance that we have today. Macy has this saying, believe. I believe the Italian-American immigrants coined that phrase. They believed they'd find a great life here. Christmas today for Italian-Americans has evolved. Our trees are loaded with gifts. Our tables are loaded with food. We have a lot to be grateful for. They have lived the American dream. And on their back and their sweat and their perseverance and their fortitude, my family's had beautiful Christmases through the years. Uh, I remember you know, I don't think I've seen more anchovies, more zeppoli, more bacala anywhere except at Christmas time around my home. Growing up, it was absolutely beautiful. It was a great thing to see. My two grandparents, uh, one from uh, Trapani, one from Agrigento, they would make a wonderful, wonderful pudding called clama. And it was a vanilla based tapioca with a pound cake base and it was just the most refreshing thing in the world. And after all the pastas and the seafood, that would just hit the spot. And all the kids, we would look forward to it. And uh, it, would, it, would, it was paradise. Uh, after having all the fish on Christmas Eve, my family started their own tradition where we would barbecue meats, sausages, steaks in the fireplace and, and just enjoy something to do something different the next day. And, um, and then at night, um, whatever aunts and uncles didn't come over, because they had their own families, the house would be filled at my home and we thoroughly enjoy ourselves. So family and friends mean everything to us then. They mean it to us now. We carry on the tradition the same way in my home. My three children, 14, 17, and 20, have a strong appreciation of the culture. Uh, from my family, uh, who is third generation now, and my wife, who is first generation, the, the children have learned and respected and are very proud of the culture and I think they couldn't say anything nicer uh, to their grandparents 
by showing the smile on their face of the culture that they've been blessed to be born into, uh, especially this time of year at Christmas. All right. My name is Janine Cortese Coyne. Uh, I'm married to an Irishman, I'm Italian American, and uh, I just wanted to share a few of my uh, most dear memories of my childhood and uh, also just growing up in an Italian American family. Um, my grandparents came from Italy, uh, though my parents were born in Brooklyn, but my parents kept to the same traditions that my grandparents had, uh, had done for them. And uh, my father has, and still has, a, a fruit and vegetable business. It was his father's established in 1939, uh, still in existence on Flappish Avenue in Brooklyn. And because he worked in retail, he would get home late from, you know, from the full day at the store. So our celebrations really began on Christmas Day. Uh, Christmas Eve, we would go to Midnight Mass at St. Thomas Aquinas Parish, that was our parish. And my mom, who's really the core of our family, was there to take us. And uh, the day began early, and so Christmas Day was really our day of celebrating. And it was really all about Italian dishes, um, singing. They were big fans. My parents were big fans of Tony Bennett and Frank Sinatra, so we did have a lot of singing and music. and. Uh, just a lot of uh, a lot of family and friends, and and as our family grew, my sister and brother and I uh, were married, and then our children came into the picture, and our friends. Uh, they were always welcomed at my family, at, at my parents' house. And my mother continued the tradition uh, well into her 80s, her early 80s, and then I took it over. So uh, now I. Have the uh, I have Christmas Day and it's still uh, the old uh, generation, which is my 92-year-old aunt and uh, my father's 90, my mother's 88, and then um, my sister, brother, and my brother's children, and then we have my children and now my grandchildren, and uh, it's just it's all about family and being together. And I think the greatest gift that my parents gave to us was not so much about the presents, although they were plentiful and they were large and small. But it was all about kindness and giving and family. And that's what it was all about. And we still hold on to those traditions uh, every year. Um, I see that in my children. I see how they are with their children and, and just how this tradition continues. So, um, you know, those are my fondest memories. It's not so much about detail, attention to detail.
Oh, so, um, so I grew up uh, in an Italian neighborhood and with an Italian family. My father is a, a jazz musician and uh, played music and taught music for years when I was a kid. My grandfather was a, also a musician, he was a drummer. I'm a musician. Um, I have a second career as a uh, uh, intellectual property lawyer, but I do both. And um, when I was a kid, I always remember the family coming over. Uh, my grandmother would be in the kitchen cooking, and uh, my mother, and I'd always go in there and watch them. I was always interested in what they're doing. And consequently, I not only have all the recipes, but I love to cook. So when I'm in the kitchen, I'm, I'm having a good time. And um, uh, we always made great Italian food and still do to this day. Uh, I have a wonderful daughter, her name is Maria Nello, and um, she's an opera singer, young opera singer, uh, has been singing with several New York opera companies, and um, she and I cook together in the kitchen around the holidays. Uh, Christmas Eve we do something called the Seven Fishes, which is an Italian tradition, and we make uh, seven different fishes, seven different Italian dishes uh, for the family. And Christmas Day is just a big uh, festa d'Italia, and we make um, all kinds of different great uh, Italian dishes, uh, meats and cheeses and pastas and all kinds of things. And I always remember growing up, uh, being together and having a long table. We'd put two, three tables together and down to card tables and whatever, you know, uh, saw horses and wood, whatever we could do to stretch it out and sit at the kids' table. And as you got older, you kind of graduated more towards the middle. <laughs> and um, uh, I also remember um, uh, that it was a very loving and rich culture uh, with a lot of emphasis put on uh, doing your best, a lot of responsibility, and um, uh, a, a strong work ethic. Um, uh, it was always, you know, nothing's for free, get out there and work. And it was also um, uh, pitch in, help the family, and, uh, and you know, um, uh, honor your father and mother. And, and I had great parents, and I'm really lucky to have had wonderful parents. My father, Doc Anello, is now 87 years old, uh, still playing, in fact, in, in Anna. Do you have any memories of the neighborhood at Christmas time when you were a young kid? Yes, I do. Um, it was um, a time of joy, you know, um, especially like in school, in church. Uh, the best, uh, one of, one of the, uh, the joys was um, St. Patrick's, Patrick's here, Old Cathedral. One of the joys was like the the music. We had a great choir. I mean, 
That's what I miss about Christmas. Uh, the school and the church was the key to that. Um, it was an unbelievable experience. The high mass, Christmas mass, midnight mass, yeah, uh, especially midnight mass. And uh, the music, the music was special. How do you try, do you try to keep Christmas traditions alive in your family? Yeah, I, I, I try to keep it. Then um, uh, the, the, the other thing is like, like you asked me about Christmas, is like the family dinners. My father was uh, a chef. I, uh, what I remember also is people coming from everywhere, coming to buy and uh, yeah, Christmas see time. this part of them. Uh, uh, little Italy had uh, Ferraris, and that was a favorite. I, I, I remember all that uh, stuff was, um, everybody came to Little Italy. So there was everybody a lot of people around the Christmas here. time. They, the place was full. Uh, and, and, you know, they were visiting us at that time. It was incredibly nice. Were there a lot of decorations and things? What? Decorations was there was there a lot of decoration. Yeah, a lot of decoration. Uh, that I liked was the uh, the music. The music was beautiful. You are sure. Hi everybody! Thanks for having us here at the Italian American Museum. My name is Daniela Day. I'm the manager. I'm so happy to be here, and I'm also singing this year with my holiday choir. We're called Gay Apparel. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, just like the ones I used to know, where the treetops glisten and children listen to hear sleigh bells in the snow. I'm dreaming of a Sicilian and uh, I'm a professor of uh, English actually at Middlesex County College in Edison, New Jersey and um, I have presented at the museum here a number of times. I also translate Sicilian literature, specifically Luigi Capuana uh, who was a verista, veristi, one of the veristi. And uh, I was amazed at the wonderful presepio that we have here at the museum. I remember in my childhood uh, when I was a little boy growing up my dad who was born in Memphis, Sicily, would make a presepio every Christmas at our house. And he would take old rags and uh, put them in plaster of Paris, liquid plaster of Paris, and soak them in that, and then hang them on sticks to make mountains. And then he would paint them <laughs> with any paint that we had left. And um, then we ha also had our statues of the Blessed Mother and St. Joseph, uh, the baby Jesus, of course, and all the other uh, people who came to visit the baby Jesus, and we put them around them. And that, we, that was uh, there for about, 
uh, a month. Every Christmas we made that. Um, Did you uh, grow up here or in Sicily? No, I grew up in, I grew up in New York, yeah. in Brooklyn, uh, and then in Long Island. But my first language is Sicilian. Uh, we spoke only Sicilian at home. And so when I went to school, I had to learn English. Did you, uh, do you have any further Christmas time memories growing up as an Italian in Brooklyn? Well, I, I, we always, what we always did on Christmas Eve, which was the most important thing for us, that Christmas Eve was even more important than Christmas Day. And we had the feast, the typical seven fishes feast. We never ate meat because that was the, the, the vigil of Virginia. And um, we, my, my mother and my grandmother and my aunts would all make this wonderful fish. We had octopus and, and squid and conch and flounder and cod and God only knows what else. of Christmas, I love the idea of family, that my, my parents uh, helped me grow up uh, in nurturing that. And um, I have to say, uh, I don't know about other uh, people, but uh, I know Italian families, Santa Claus did not wrap presents. My pa yo, you get a gift from somebody, yes, they were wrapped, but Santa Claus never wrapped presents. And um, so yeah, in Christmas time, the presents were wonderful. I, I'm a drummer myself, and um, I can remember getting my, my first set of drums. They were from Times Square stores on Long Island. And uh, my parents, being Italian, we had a silver Christmas tree that had green and red balls on it. <laughs> and it had a light that, that, that shone. And the, this, this thing went around, and it changed the color of the tree from red to green to blue to yellow. And I remember I used to take it because I had silver sparkle drums and put it on my drum set so it would change colors too. And uh, yeah, Christmas is great. We used to come down in our pajamas and, and just all the gifts my father used to. My father worked hard. I mean, he worked two jobs. He was a New York City policeman and uh, he, he also did some construction on the side. But uh, he took care of us at Christmas. It was a long time before I knew that there was no Santa Claus and it was Dad doing it. But uh, the, these instruments, these instruments, it's um, uh, refigurated. Um, in uh, presepe and in uh, Christmas time. It's very typical. We have to play nine days before Santa Lucia and nine days before Gesù Bambino. Every night, every night. The Zampognari go in the family and play me al presepe vivente or presepe uh, in cartapesta. And uh, we play Quando uh, è La Marcia dei Pastori and also Pastorale. It's uh, typical from uh, music from this time. Could you play one more for us? Of course. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.
I learned that only a few years ago, so I'm still researching. Really? Yeah, that's good. Right? It's good to search your roots, isn't yeah, it? It is. It's fascinating. It's it. It is. I did too. Yeah. I was born here. My grand. I searched my grandparents in Italy. Huh. And it's really interesting. Right but here at the Italian American Museum, I want to wish you all Merry Christmas, Buon Natale, Buon Capodanno. Sleep.